The truth never dies. 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 Come on, baby. Never dies. The truth never dies. Come on, baby. Free Leah! Free Leah! Free Leah! Come on, boy! Long time coming. 24 years this brother been in there for something he ain't do. Exonerated today. Exonerated today. Just came out. Come here. This is my godmama right here. I got my mothers, you know what I mean? You know, no doubt. the ones that pushed the stones, the ones who taught me, the ones who yes. believed in me, right? Yeah, so yes. we sitting here right now, and it's epic, right? Yeah. Yes. I'm loving it, right? Yes. You don't put the most high first. Yes. Walk in faith. You see what I'm saying? I couldn't do this That's on right. my own, yeah, but I did it with the spirit of the most high, of Yahweh, yeah. and I did it with the people. Yes. You know, it's definitely, man, it's power in the people when people unify. No the doubt. time and unity, right? No That's doubt. community, and this is a community right no here. Doubt. That's right. And I appreciate all of y'all, right? Absolutely. Got my man Young. Look at my man Fury. You hear me? My man Fury. Hallelujah. Wait. What's up, brother? Look. Huh? Huh? The 10-year anniversary. You hear me? Did it happen like that? You playing this, didn't you? He playing this. This brother right here playing that, right? Look at the queen daughter. Look at the coaster. Ah! Shining, you hear me? Locks just, just shining. Up. Look, I lost all my hair though, right? I ain't lose my integrity, right? That's right. Right? Hey, hey I ain't right. lose my manhood, right? Come on. Right. Hey, I lost my hair, right? right? I lost that, right? But you know, in this fight, it's a lot of losses and it's yes. a lot of gains, right? Yes. So we got to make sure we ready to unpack and unfold yes. some, of, some of that baggage, right? Yes. Because if you got your driveway filled with junk cars, right? Hating people for what they right. did to you, right? Yeah. You ain't gonna have no room for no blessings. Come on. Right? So Come that's on. what I open it up, man, for the blessings. Yeah. And that's what I'm really on, you know. And I thank you guys, my queen, sis, y'all. I can't thank y'all enough, right? All it is right. epic, man. Right. <laughs> it's epic. Right. I can't believe I'm standing up. I'm just yeah. standing there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. hey, hey, hey. This might, hey, y'all might be fooling with me. Let's go. <laughs> right? Bro, can I ask you about exoneration? Well, we, got, we got some bags. Talk about the exoneration, bro. Well, the exoneration in of itself, man, it, it's something spiritual as well. It's something that's logical, you know, the merging of, of, of two sides of logic and spirit, right? Right. Because on one hand, you know, people have to believe in you and have a heart of justice, right? And to have a heart of justice, you got to have a heart of love, right? Right. So even though, you know, I can be looked at as a hardened criminal, or somebody that's been locked up for 25 years, these are the things that sustain me when I see people that believe in me. My queen sis, Val, this is my, Man, my Mary. Day right? one. She got the tangerine. Day right? one, right there. She got that's the tangerine. Right there. She right there, that's my Miriam right Man, there. She initiated but, it all. But you have other people that come to play that believe in what you're doing, and this is what we have long <coughs> And we have the sister right here, Charlie. We have Fury Young, you know, and other people. You got IDOC Watch. You got my spiritual mother right here. You know, you got my godmother right here. People that believe in what you're doing, right? So the exoneration, of course, it was it was surreal to say the least, right? Hey, you know, Mr. Benson, you finna leave up out of here today, right? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so I'm looking, right? You know what I mean? I'm like, man, you what you serious? Like, yeah, you know, then you get a lot of the people that's in here, you know, they come in, people that work in the Department of Corrections worldwide, when you come in here, you affected by this same madness too. That's right. So when I got exonerated people, they turned their nose up. Oh, hey, one, one administrator said, hey, when are you coming back? Oh, what? Oh, what? That's what he said. Oh, I know you would be back, oh, right? No. I said, man, you talking to a kid?
king. I called him a nigga, right? He was a white dude. I'm like, I'm a king, nigga. I have a right? Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, this is the type of disdain that's right. that people have that's supposed to be helping people, right? Exactly. We will always have prisons because prisons will be needed, but we need to abolish the mindset that creates these systems, right? We need to abolish that, right? Away with the old way, man, and bring in a new something that's fulfilling it for the people. So this exoneration, man, it's a spiritual thing. It's a spiritual awakening, right? right. It's the end of that. Right. And the right. beginning of this, right? Right, right. no doubt. Right. Hey, look, you no did right. 25 years in here just to get to this day. <laughs> just to get to the day. for these people to say that you clear all charges against you. Clear of everything, you. right? Clear all charges all against charges. you. All charges, you hear me? How is it that that's you right. don't have anger or animosity towards these people who have right. held you in just with, with so much injustice and contempt? Because at the end of the day, man, I done burnt all my anger and frustration yeah. out, man. Don't get me wrong, right? right. Yeah. You know I've been to Malcolm Little, right? <laughs> right? Marcus Garvey, right? No, oh, y'all wanna go down that line, right? Yeah, I'm a melanite, right? We can do all that. But at the end of the day, what I found out, man, as a strategist of thinking about myself and my people, my family, the community, I had to take myself out the equation of being mad because it was selfish. And I can't go into a fight angry. You know what I mean? I'm swinging at, it's just like going into a fight against the neck with a Uzi. Brrr, you ain't gonna never hit a neck. So my, my key thing was to get with myself and hold myself accountable. At the end of the day, it's accountability for everybody. My accountability, man, as a young black man in America, man, I seen my way out selling drugs. I followed that hype, you know? And there's a lot of young brothers and sisters out there, not only people of color, but other people in other communities too, that's chasing a mirage, right? And that's what I was doing, right? You know, but you can't tell that to somebody who didn't have nothing. You know, like my man Pac say, you know, even though I sell rocks, it feel good putting money in your mailbox. That felt good to me when I could get my queen sister, but you need some shoes? You got that. Hey, queen daughter, she was little then, though. She was little, though. She didn't grow up. That's my baby, right? Hey, hey. Come on, man. I'm glad to see you. Come on, man. So, 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 it ain't, it ain't no turn the other cheek type thing. It ain't no, you know, it ain't that type of thing. I'm very indignant, right? And indignation, man, is part of the reason, man, that justice come forth. You did some wrong, but we gonna act on it. There's a lot of people out there, they claim to be conscious. But where I come from, as Kwame can tell you, man, what we learned from the comrades sitting at the ankles of the elders is that to be really conscious is to act on what you're aware of, right? So I'm out here to act on what I'm aware of. And it's a spiritual connotation to it all because I could be dead. Come on. Come on. Hey, hey. Hey, tell the I'm, I'm a pretty dog, though. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man, right? Huh? Huh? And I ain't been ducking no wreck, right? I ain't been ducking no wreck. Come on, man. Hey, Indiana Department of Corrections, they'll tell you about your boy, LB. You know what I mean? La V for a lot of them. Mm. So, you know, that's what it's about. It's about how can we correct it? How can we rectify restorative justice, right? If you take something away, you need to put something back, that's right? right? So that's my whole analysis, it's a holistic analysis. So this is what it means to me. Of course, I'm indignant. You know, I get to vent and be cathartic man in my art, you know, and, and, and activism and plugging up with other communities and everything, you know. You know, shouts out to everybody, man. I, I, I love y'all, right? How can I be mad when I got people that love me? Alright. Right. Hey, tell the truth. Uh, truth never dies. Truth never dies, right? Truth never dies. Truth never dies. Said truth never dies. The truth never dies. The truth never dies. The truth never dies. That mantra came out of uh, a real struggle. You know what I mean? That mantra came out of I had to remind myself of that. That truth never dies. Cause sometimes when you sit in a solitary <coughs> field, uh, or when you get people who don't believe in you, you you feel hopeless. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think I was telling I was telling my lawyers this, and this is something they did. I call them the midwives of justice. Come on, all right? right. Because on. they they came there, Come you know, on. and really helped, you know, help, you know, bring me through the womb of the beast. Not the belly, but the womb, you know. Yeah. And they helped birth me into something greater than what I was. So my thing is this. When I was sitting there and I was like, man, I, nobody cares. I just heard the mantra, truth never dies. Say 
they they say you would die if you go 40 days without food. They said you would die if you go four days without water. They say you would die going four minutes without breath. But you would die in four seconds if you don't got no hope. So we got hope right here. Right? Hope is real. Hope keep us fighting, right? This ain't no man. We ain't no man. This we bring in, we bring in a man. <laughs> no! <laughs> so, so with, with that type of realism, it's big, you know what I mean? And, and you did your part. Even with my spiritual mother right here, Miss Ruth. Ruth, Ruth, which means, you know, companion in Hebrew, right? Yes. Which means companion in Hebrew, right? Yes. You know, I was looking like, man, man, who is this dude, right? 
Right? You said it though. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. This is epic, man. Come on, bro. Come on, man. We got to do this. Come on, man. Come on. God is out. You hear me? Guys, out. One more question, bro. Well, so what's next? What's the future? Well, the future for you. Man, what's the future going for on? me, man, is uh. Can I ask that question? Now that this truth is revealed, what's the truth that you're looking forward to in that next journey? Bro? Oh, mm. in, in the next journey, you know, first and foremost, my life is pretty simple. These are some of the things I've learned. only for me but for themselves and allowing me to be a part of that right so i'm looking for these things so i'm always looking to get back to being useful right with the particular skills i can bring i done sat up for 25 years we didn't read all the books we own that hey cornell west all right right big bro you know what i mean you know you know the uh eric dyson's you know uh, uh the Kwame Shakur's, right? <laughs> right? you know <laughs> so my next, my next thing is to use this unique experience. Remember, experience is for me, expert. So I'm an expert in the struggle and how to overcome and how to reframe. So I want to use these skills to help other people in any capacity that I can. And, and that's realistic to me. One of them is being with the High Gen Pro Collective, man. You know, I'm rolling out with, with Fury Young. We got an album coming out. Innocent born guilty, you see what I'm saying? And you know the brother Fury, he been with me, you know, for 10 years now. You know what I mean? I remember he was a little pup, right? He, was a little pup. he had this. I don't know, man. You, you had this, you know, this Pink Floyd thing on. But look, <laughs> right? right? But, but at the end of the day, when I accumulate these relationships with these many different people, you know, this brother right here, Yarn, my daughter. And the central piece is what I can provide to it. So as I come to Die Jim Crow Records, we do that activism work, man, for people incarcerated, to prevent people from coming in and to hopefully make conditions better for people that are in there, man. It's a lot of places. So I'm looking for that. It's really simple, but it get complicated if you lose your path. So that's the path I'm going to try to take, right? That's the smell of a happy daughter right there. Be blessed, bro. Ain't no question. Touch every direction you go, be blessed. Man, and, 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 and another thing, like, like, like when you, I'm living like I died before, right? So what I'm saying, man, hey, hey, I, I, I ain't gonna put, hey, I ain't no Kanye or nothing like that. I ain't arrogant or nothing. My confidence comes from a real place, and all I'm saying is, look. I don't know. In my book, he don't say, man, he coming back to get you. We got this right here. That's what I know, right? It's about what you know, not what you believe. That's what I know. I know the most high because we walk with him. I'm seeing y'all this here. This is a miracle in the city. So what I'm saying, man, is living like I died before is nothing bad. It means I'm going to enjoy life as man. I'm going to be compassionate. I'm going to listen. If I can't listen, I'm going to say, hey, I don't have the time right now. But we can come back to that. But I'm not going to fake it till we make it. I don't believe in that, right? We got one life. I'm a grown man, absolutely grown man, right? We don't do little boy games. We ain't on that. I don't need nobody to stir and direct me. I need wise counsel. Right. We all need that, right? And I'm not too big for that. But I'm living like I died before. So that means anything. I got great examples of all the heroines and the heroes throughout history, throughout culture, race, politics. So I'm gonna take that. That's up. All right. Come on, come on, come on now. Truth never dies. Truth never dies. It's only rediscovered. <laughs> come on, boy. Come on, boy. <laughs>